Hi and welcome to Ola Testing Shit. Today I'm trying out the EVH 5150 3 15W LBX2 amplifier. Now this amplifier has been out for a while, but I personally haven't tried it. So with the help of my YouTube members, I acquired it and it's put on to the test in an Ola Testing Shit video. It's a two channel amplifier. You have a channel green and a channel blue. It has two EL84 tubes which is very common for this mini amplifiers. You have four pre-amplifier tubes, it has an effects loop and the regular controls that you will find on a modern amplifier. And it comes with this really cute foot switch that looks like a nipple. You want to kick into the blue channel? Kick the tit, as they say. And this one is very small, man. It's not a microamp size, but you know, it still weighs in on 7.3 kilos. And uh, visually, looks okay. I guess not my absolute favorite look, but it will do. And today I'm using this S1.6 Floyd Rose straight into the EVH 5150 3 15 LBX2 amplifier into my HESU 2x12 cabinet. And this is a Shure SM58 microphone right there. The Adario cables, by the way. This is the first time I try it out. It's the first time I turn it on. It's glowing green and yellow and red. Full power level. Let's go. What's this? Okay. There we go. Okay, how do I switch this channel? I have to plug in the foot switch. Where is it? Where did that tit go? I have to kick the tit to engage. My ass, no. Oh, that's loud. I'm just trying to see if the clean level does anything to the distortion level, but it does not. It doesn't really sound like the traditional EVH 5153. I mean, it's like... The big head at least has gain that makes it sound modern and very saturated, very metal friendly, but this is almost like... This is more like a crunch amplifier. I mean, even having a full gain here, it's not really enough, I guess. And also, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the bass and the resonance here, it's not necessarily... It feels small. It doesn't have that sub low end. This was standard E, by the way, so I'm going to try something that's a bit lower. So you guys won't complain. Like, oh, oh, oh you're not trying. Uh, I think this guitar is in D standard. Will it sound different? I don't know. Okay, so this guitar is in drop C. I'll check it out.
I mean, it sounds good. The low end has this kind of compressed sound, which... I mean, it's ballsy sounding, but it's just something... feels like something is holding it back. I don't know what it is. I think it might be the EL84 tubes. They're not full-size tubes like in the big EVH. Uh, 5150. It feels a little tame, but after all, this is a 15 watt amplifier. Okay, let's dial the resonance a little bit. The resonance knob is at the back here, so... I mean, this sound is really, really close to being, you know, something I would truly, truly enjoy. Now, I'm using passive pickups, which uh, are medium output, but I think active pickups would go really well into this amplifier, just giving it that extra little push. So, I'm gonna try an overdrive into this and see how it works. Okay, so right now, I just plugged in a Fortin 33 Pal, which is a clean boost. Let's hear how that sounds. <laughs> Okay, it responds really well to this clean boost right here. I think it sounds pretty good, and it is extremely loud for what it is, but usually the problem with field 84 tubes is that when you're going really loud, they just can't seem to hold up like a full-blown amplifier. But I mean, it is a 15 watt, but it just can't seem to hold up like a full-blown amplifier. But if you need it for that, then there's always the full-fledged amp. It's a great sounding amplifier, even though I didn't think it held up to the bigger brother. I must say, but it took the overdrives and the clean boost really well. So yeah, if you're looking for a smaller amp solution to play at home, there you go, drop C. Then I think it's a pretty good alternative, I guess. Thanks to all my members for bringing this video for the rest of you guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.